Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We were up against it yet again. <laughs> we're up against the Von Dracula. I mean, Von Karma. Yeah. Right, let's take him on. Yeah. I got a bad feeling about this. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Very well. Now, pretty for your sake, this isn't a waste of time. <clears throat> I have extra gavels down here, Phoenix. Oh, no. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve just after midnight, I reckon. I'm n taking no chances. Just after midnight, you say. In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Uh, yeah, well, yes. Fuck. Objection! I know you want to find contradictions, but really... Mm. Hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. Why were you camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Yeah. <clears throat> Ms. Hart, could you be more specific about your research? What does the witness's motive in camping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. Wait now, I'm the one who says that. Well then say it already! Objection sustained. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. <laughs> hmm. of bang come up from the lake. So you weren't looking at the lake at that time? Nope. I looked after I heard the noise. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions, not leisurely chat with the witness. Ugh. Looked out the window, saw two gents in a boat. <clears throat> Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? Uh-oh. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You'd best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. Yep, there we go. Objection. Camera equipment, maybe? Your Honor! That state. Oh, fuck. Huh? Oh, fuck! So there's there's something there, for sure. Yeah, maybe the camera. Since it goes off when there's loud noise. <clears throat> Shit! Maybe the two gents? I don't know. Wait, no, it was this one. Maybe? Uh, would not say... I know. Two gents by the boat. Objection. The witness statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Because it's foggy. Unfortunately, I don't have to penalize you, Mr. Wright. Ugh, that must be on the wrong track. Okay, fine. <laughs> and now you've lost all that health, Jay. Oh, it's fine. Then there was another bang. Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless! Contradictions, Mr. Wright, not meaningless babble. Von Karma, I think I hate you. He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? Hold it. 
Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty sure. Press further. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Ms. Hart, you... <laughs> Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. Huh? No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, that's what I'm... Sustained! Yes, of course. Oh, great. <laughs> Enough! I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. B but your honor! Ha! You keep your promise! Mr. Wright. I'm afraid that I will have to penalize any further outbursts. By holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh... Uh-huh. Nick! Well, this testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean, but if I can't see anything, what can I do? <clears throat> I believe we've covered all of the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Mile Edgeworth, please take the stand. Hold it! What? Who was that? It... It was me. Maya! Is something wrong? Do, do you need to use the facilities? Oh my god. No, I do not! A lot of heart! Your testimony stinks! It's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth! This is a matter of life or death! Uh, uh. <laughs> that face me! Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? You will stand down! The court does not acknowledge this defense. Answer me, Lana! What's the big idea? Treat me like some kind of criminal. I saw him, I swear it, I saw Edgeworth. Enough! Judge! Declare the defense in contempt of court! Yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. Guard escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He's in contempt of court and must leave. No! No! Wait! I was the one who made the outburst, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. <laughs> ha! What's the difference? All that's remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wrong! What? Did you hear what Ms. Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony, and I have a right to cross-examine her again. Oh, she is right. Order! 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 God damn it! You're in contempt of court! It's too late for wild claims! Judge, sustain my objection! Hmm. I'm tired of being your bottom bitch. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What?! Miss Lana Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross-examine her once more. But, but he isn't in contempt of court! No, I am! If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me! Hmm. Very well. Maya Faye, you will leave the courtroom immediately. Oh, shit. Nick! I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. Thank you, Maya. You really helped save us here. <coughs> I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm running out of time. I'd better find a contradiction in here or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross-examination. That last statement. It's not clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. And how could you see that mm, if your fucking foggy. camera couldn't? That's it? Uh-oh. I don't know if I can find anything in that. 
But I can't squander Maya's efforts either. <clears throat> well, what about the other man? You cannot expect to be allowed to blithely ignore your promise, Mr. Wright. I believe you claimed there was a contradiction in the witness's testimony. Well, find it. If you can. That's right, I have to sign you a penalty. Motherfucker, I asked a question! <laughs> Damn! That's it? Oh, I don't know if I can find anything in that. Ah, oh, fucking Okay, bastard. you need to use her photo. Because it was, like, foggy in there. Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. What? You got what? Look at this photograph. Look at this photograph. Kill him. <laughs> the photo I took? The very same. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So? So? This picture was taken with professional, high-tech, high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? <laughs> Mr. Wright has a point. <laughs> That's why I told her not to say... That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. Please! Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Ms. Hart. Why? Could you see a defendant that night? Of course. I said I could, and I meant I could. And please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. You're right, it was a cold night and the fog was thick as grease. But once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with no, me. No, you fucking didn't. But I heard that noise out on the lake and I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. You're a liar! Hmm, you use binoculars. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. How Edgeworth was seen. Let's see, what do I have that contradicts any of this? Again, high-tech, super high-quality camera couldn't see it. Let's but see. her with binoculars could. So she's camping out from over there, sees the boat from over there. And the boat happened to be, like, right next to her car, apparently. Yeah, because it was fucking staged. What's the risk. description of the camera? I'm gonna save just in case. Now what's the description on the camera that you have in your... Set up automatically take a picture when a right. loud noise detect that faces the lake. Your camera. You ain't got an automatic. The issue we are concerned with here is Ms. Hart seeing Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with this at all. Objection sustained. Ah, he's not letting her answer any of my questions. Why would you bring your binoculars with you? Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday, you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars, for that? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I've got doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? The camera is irrelevant to this case. No, it's not, you motherfucker. You can't see that for certain. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Is the camera really relevant to this case? Yes! If you believe it is, you may continue with this line of questioning. But know this! If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences! Well, Mr. Wright, you wish to press further about the camera? I fucking do! This is make it or break it time. The camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Wow, maybe I went a little overboard there. Very well. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. 
Okay, we'll set up sick pictures of a meteor shower. Ms. Hart, what made you choose that lake to photograph meteors? You know the fog gets thick on the lake. It's not very suited to stargazing. Yeah, well, you see, I... I guess I wasn't thinking too straight. Hi. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness because of her challenged intellect. What a bitch. Now wait a minute. Continue your testimony. You were saying how it was that you saw Edgeworth? Uh, no unnecessary comments, please. Our noise camera was set up to take pictures. Objection! Why does it have a sound thing? You were photographing shooting stars. That's a lie. Says who? I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Oof, her face she makes. But she just busted a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Well, then what exactly was she photographing? Your Honor, take a look at this. What was this? You think it was Gordy? <laughs> It was either the lake photo or it was Gordy. No, it's because the sound. Yeah. Well, Your Honor, what do you think? I think I'm confused. Wrong again, Mr. Wright. So very wrong. You can't get through this one with your weak bluffs, y Your Honor. Enough playing around. Here's the real evidence. <laughs> Enough playing around. That's my line, Mr. Wright. Ah! Uh. Yeah, I think it is Gordy. Ms. Hart, this is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy? I was heading at Gord Lake. Well, Ms. Hart? I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof of something? Let's see you prove that I was down on that lake trying to photograph this Gordy. I don't know if you <laughs> have I have it! Proof! Hmm, intriguing. Very well, let's see. And no uh, joking around this time, please. What proof that the witness is trying to photograph Gordy, the lake monster? When it's set up for a loud noise. The proof, Ms. Hart, is your own camera! Ah! <laughs> your, ca <laughs> your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here, taken when the gun fired on the lake. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set your camera to respond to loud noises. Order, order! I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Ms. Hart, you were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. Not bad. Are all you lawyers this that smart? Oh, thanks. So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly! What you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Hey! <laughs> but as she so succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason. I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart. Why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right, fine, I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. And I'm going to spot it. We have one chance left, Jay. I will save! Of your saving. I will save!
<laughs> we have one chance left. <laughs> right, no, we have we lost half our things. Shh, oh, it's no shh, big deal. Shh, no, it's okay. Shh, shh. We're all out of time, so we'll continue this in the next one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Adios. God damn it.